Hey, babe. What's, what's wrong? You're, you're trembling. Is it the storm? I mean, it's just raining a little bit out. You having a nightmare? Oh, well, let me squeeze and cuddle you back to sleep. And just feel these muscles. I got this. I'll make you feel safe. That boogeyman or whatever in your dreams doesn't have anything on these big guns. Come on, grab a hold of that. Press hard while I flex. You feel that? Uh, that is rock solid muscle. That's pumped and ready to beat up whatever demons are chasing you. I'll keep you safe, babe. They don't stand a chance against my muscles. That's right, feel my hard body pressed up against you. Nothing can get you now. Your dominant muscle daddy's here to protect you. Hey, got an idea. Here's what you do. Close your eyes. Imagine where you were in the dream. Where was it? College gym class. Okay. But your high school bully was there, but grown up. Uh, Alright, this is going to be easier than I thought. I was picturing having to take down the village of zombies or vampires or werewolves or something. But a high school bully, easy. Oh, he was pretty big, huh? Football, wrestling, all the sports. I don't know. You packed on some muscle since high school then, I see. No worries. Feel my big chest. No way he had pecs that big and solid. <laughs> so, picture that gym in your dream. Was it, was it like the basketball court or? Uh, the weight room, the locker room. <laughs> of course. Okay. So now put me there. Imagine me in your dream. Yeah, you can imagine me in the wrestling singlet if you want to. Uh, that one that shows off my body so well. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's okay. I'll be sweaty. Uh, I, maybe in the dream I just finished my last set of bicep curls. Who knows? Yeah. But my muscles are pumped. Things will be bulging in that dream. Come on. Look, big guy here. Now. You're just standing there, me towering beside you, your gay knight in shining wrestling singlet. <laughs> My hands on your shoulders, massaging them gently. I kiss you softly on the lips. No one flinches or says anything because they see me. They know I'll take them down in one swing. Except this bully guy. Yeah. He seems to have a problem. And he's an all-around jerk. He's got a problem with everything. But I'm taking charge here, because I'm not going to let anyone mess with you. I'm going to go up to that bully. What, what, what's his name? Mason. Alright, so you stand back. You let me handle this. Hey, Mason, I say. You may have picked on my man here in high school. That's not going to happen anymore. Not on my watch. Mason, I'm guessing, is an arrogant meathead, so he's going to own right up to it, isn't he? Yeah. So, I'm going to subtly flex and puff up my chest real big, let Mason know that I'm the alpha male here. I know his type. Mason's never been put in his place, so he continues to act tough. Come at me, punk. I'm going to show you how tough you're not. <laughs> so, I'm wearing a wrestling singlet. What's this tool bag Mason wearing? Oh, uh, just a towel, huh? Oh, you had a crush on him. Hmm. Well, the plot thickens. Okay, so back to where I was. So Mason's standing there in his towel, his body glistening from the shower. You can tell he works out a lot. Like, that's all he does, actually. He's the biggest guy around, aside from me. So I step towards this big, scary, muscular, shirtless, straight, he-man Mason guy. I look him square in the eyes. He's about the same height as me. He looks like a real strong dude, but I'm, I'm much thicker. 
I'm willing to put my pride on the line to bet I could take him at any strength-related contest out there. Just don't set me down at a math or spelling test. Though. But I step up to this big Mason dude. And he's he's a hothead. He throws a punch. But I catch his fist with my bare hands. My arms are rippling with raw power. You feel that power, dude? Yeah. Mason can't take it. He winces in pain. You can see the look of fear in his eyes. I pick him up like a sack of potatoes. My quads and calves explode with strength. I do a couple of squats with him just to show off to the guys. He's kicking and trying to punch my back. But I bend over. I kiss you on the forehead. This is for you, babe. I whisper softly in your ear. And then I body slam him to the ground. I don't punch him, though. I don't have to. I'm stronger than him. He knows it. I've got his arms pinned to the ground now. He can't move. <laughs> You're right. He's a big fella. But I'm bigger. My muscles are bulging as he squirms to get free from my powerful grip. Arr, mess with my man again. I'm going to really tear up that pretty boy face of yours. I hold both his arms down with just one of mine. My weaker left arm at that. And with my right arm... That's right. I bend towards him and I flex it right in his face. Not that he couldn't have seen this massive peak from a mile away, but still. Plus, this way he can smell my sweating armpits. <laughs> what? Huh? You, you want me to make him kiss it? <laughs> All right. So, I demand of Mason, you submit to me now before I embarrass you even more. Kiss this big gun. Mm, that's right. Good boy. <laughs> oh, you're smiling now. You're liking this story. It's no longer a nightmare, but a muscle wrestling fantasy. <laughs> Just still got your eyes closed. I say, keep them that way. Relax. Go back to sleep so I can keep pounding this jerk. All right. Where'd I leave off? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mason, he's pinned to the ground and kissing my biceps, which frankly sounds like something you should be doing, but whatever. No one's getting excited here, because Mason's definitely the bad guy, and I'm the big strong boyfriend here to protect you. So I call you over to come punch this moron, or whatever you want to do. But you're a sweetheart, and you'd rather me do all the heavy lifting here. But you gotta do something, maybe kick a little bit of dirt in his face? So at this point, Mason has submitted. And you're pretty excited about this, but you're ready to go home and call it a day and give me my reward. But nope. I came here to make an example out of this guy. He went down way too easy. I really thought you'd be stronger and put up a little bit of a fight or something. Make me work to defend your honor. So I'm not ready to go. I really want him and his crew. Well, my crew now, after watching their man go down so easily, they know better than to fall in line with me. So I pick poor Mason up off the floor, and since this is still a dream, dreams never make much sense. Mason's somehow heavier. I can feel it when I pick him up. I don't think anything of it, but then, before I know it, it's like some incredible Hulk muscle growth thing has happened, and Mason, who's a pretty solid guy before, is now absolutely jacked. So... I want some actual competition here, and well, here it is. So Mason, with his smug face, so he flexes his biceps in my face now. The guy's ripe, he needs a better deodorant, but that's beside the point. The point is, his guns are huge, like insane. Even I'm impressed. And then, he wants you to feel and kiss his biceps, and then make you tell him that his biceps are bigger and harder and stronger than mine. Eh, and you're a little bit impressed too. So you go up there, you grab a hold of his bicep, he lifts you up off the ground. So you've got both your arms grabbed onto his bicep like his arm is a pull-up bar or something. Oof, my jealousy kicks in. I mean, you're my man. But I stay calm. So what I do is I head over to the weights. I pump up a few sets of barbell curls. Then I go over to the bench presses. I do a few of those and some squats. With, with each rep, I get bigger, too. I am a beast. I already am. But now, just, wow, my muscles are growing bigger and bigger and stronger. So I ask for a tape measure. I want to see how my, my muscles stack up against this bloated Mason guy. <laughs> they, 
the good. You, you feeling safe now? Hey. <laughs> oh, you're asleep. <laughs> oh, I wonder how much of that you missed. It was just getting good. Oh, well. If anything else happens, you better wake me up, all right? I'm right here, babe. Cuddling you until morning.